So, um, even if you don't like my content, can you please interact with this? Because there's someone out there that will, and TikTok right now is basically just keeping me hidden under the stairs like Harry Potter. Thank you. Maybe I don't understand. Stereo. Índio, índio come jota. Índio come. If you be the cash, I be the rubber band. Uh, <clears throat> okay. If you be the cash, I be the rubber band. You be the match, I will be. The Don't make this mistake when drawing the glitch effect. Number one is use two similar colors. This will make your drawing look dull and boring. Instead, use the colors blue and red. Number two is don't randomly draw the glitch lines. Doing so will give you pretty bad results. Instead, draw all red glitch lines going to the left, then draw all blue glitch lines going to the right. <laughs> It's been a year and I wish somebody would have told me, babe That someday these would be the good old days All the love you won't forget And I don't think people are gonna believe me when I say this. I wanted to draw Pokemon so I can give it to her. Okay, finished. So I showed her the fan art and then she said, So good! Oh my god! I asked her to sign my art innocently. Then the unexpected thing happened and she whipped out her camera. She liked it so much she wanted to record it? Wait, not me too. At this very moment, I felt like it was my first day of school and my mom was taking pictures of me. Oh my gosh, it was so nice meeting you, Coolie. I'm actually such a huge fan. <laughs> also, thank you, Pokey, for signing my fan art. Now I can forge your signature onto my adoption papers. Mm -hmm. 
Ela comeu amiga. Agora ela marido, ela marido vai China. Ela marido vai China. Ele namora meu casa. Eu China vem. Ele pula meu mais, mais. Com ela namora. Trinta oito anos. Essa marido meu, eu tenho documento, tenho casal. Ela está correndo, tira a sandália. Hoje eu vou ao mercado, vai à rua. É o marido para ela. Ela fala, meu rabaliga, eu rabaliga, você rabaliga. Want this? Download this app. Add a new canvas the size of your choice. Search up skin color noise and save your favorite to your photos or create your own palette. Back on the app add a new layer and import your image. Skip this step if you created your own palette. Click special and expand. Now add a new layer and draw your design. Make sure to turn the visibility on your palette layer off. On the same layer or on a layer above your design fill in the outer of your lines with any color. It should look something like this. Follow the next steps you see. And you're done. mistakes that are ruining your art. Don't draw the eyelids randomly. Instead, choose which expression you want to draw and do this. To draw a tired sleepy eye expression, the upper eyelid should cover half of the pupil. To draw a surprised eye, leave small distance between the eyelids and the iris. To draw a normal eye expression, the upper eyelid should cover one quarter of the iris. And lastly, to draw an alert eye expression, draw both eyelids barely touching the iris. On random things day three I'm recycling this little box into a little jewelry box I'm painting it to look like an amethyst crystal the questions you asked today were I mostly use pink I use acrylic paint and the brand I use is Windsor and Newton I am a Virgo comment your zodiac sign also comment what I should paint on next and ask me questions. Layers and layers. Also painted the bottom a darker gray. And done.
I started bedazzling this ketchup bottle and I realized that the words ketchup are just small for me to bedazzle. So I think I came up with a solution. I'm gonna use these things called micro beans. Randomly just realize how much power my hands hold. For example, too broke to hire someone to design your merch. Just draw it yourself. Don't have any friends to model it for you. Just draw the models. So this Describe. creator so describes some people's faces as gorilla chin. looking. So and people of color things. as being right. so tan. Let's and I think we should go back to the beginning of her first video where she talks about the power of the artist. I don't think most people who don't have a good visual critical thinking sense understand the power that visuals have in our society. Sure, she's teaching people to draw, but underlying it are people who will learn to draw, potentially work in industries where these images become pervasive. And so if they are people who perceive this to be a classic face, and who see people of color as being othered and do not understand how to depict them as well, we find ourselves in a situation where we are upholding norms that our society is ideally moving past. Now, some of her perceptions and even the ways she is drawing and sectioning people's faces and hitting the angles comes from the fact that a lot of our way of teaching drawing comes from a Eurocentric place. It's in direct line to Renaissance art, which really focused on realism, but also a sort of system of drawing that worked to depict people in a certain light. Other cultures had different ways of drawing, and other cultures, for example, focused on things other than realism. And it is worth noting, our studies of drawing are sort of also tied to all of our other enlightenment ideals of how you understand the world, much of which is through a Eurocentric lens. But in America, this is no longer the singular classic face. In fact, globally, we are much closer to each other intellectually, and therefore, there is no singular classic face. And with power comes responsibility. And so for artists, rather than just drawing what you know, if you actually want to be an artist who communicates with a broad swath of people, you need to look and study from a broad swath of people, draw a broad swath of faces, and hold back the racism.